Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otzi and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I did have some trouble today with the sound setup, so if the game sound sounds a bit weird, um, that's probably because of that. If I sound a bit weird, can't help it. So last time we did quite a few things. We uh, set up uh, the uh, uh, steel refining. Uh, where we now have a bit more than uh, four tons of steel. We also have quite a bit of oil uh, from two oil wells. Um, we do refine that down here. We have petroleum um, and then um, we use that for power generation. Uh, looking at the setup, we are lacking basically the ethanol that we have here for the uh, for the old setup. And what I did was uh, disable this one on top here uh, because we brought in the power here from this side. So um, if we need uh, power from this one um, probably could do something about that uh, also tried to add another form up here uh, forgot unfortunately that balm lilies uh, they require a chlorine atmosphere so that's not going to happen in in this form but the the pepper nuts uh, they should grow just fine and with that we are using a bit of the polluted water uh, which has risen here quite a bit um, so today we will actually focus on the main goal of this series exploring all these uh, uh, wondrous things that uh, happen to be here in our base uh, and maybe on the side also fixing some problems because what I've seen uh, some plants are stifled because of body temperature and that's not because uh, the air is too warm uh, it's barely at the mark of the of the 30 degree but uh, it's basically because the water we are pumping in here is too warm uh, we take that out of here we don't manage to cool that off enough and one thing that we could do is we could try to have non-isolated pipes going there and then have a bridge there and from here on up um, we have isolated and we bring that back in here so that should mean that instead of uh, taking the water out directly here, we go down, cool it a bit and then bring it up. And that should actually help. But let's see what we have in terms of traits. We have this one. Uh, we have things here on this side that are yet still a bit uh, uh, unexplored. We have this one. This one will probably be interesting. We have this one. This one we have already encountered because um, it's quite an old trait. So uh, uh, let's actually uh, see uh what we what we have here if you want to to read it uh pause the video you can get uh, the the whole correspondence here 
Um, we also want to see uh, what we can find in here. I think usually inspecting uh, uh, lockers uh, does not give us uh, give us anything. Okay, we got some some more suits. Um, right, uh, don't think we need the warm suit, and then we can put someone on here. And here the question is, who should we take? Usually someone with high responsibility and maybe a bit of, uh, of moral problems. Um, but at least morally wise, all look good. They have way more than, than they need, uh, but maybe, uh, uh, Mima could be a candidate for, for this one. Okay, let's complete the process. Deep Divers Long Straight means um, uh, she requires less, uh, or see, she consumes less oxygen uh, per second. Um, definitely uh, a good thing to have so with that out of the way um ooh, here we have we have another one of those machines of course we can uh, recharge them uh, but we need um rare things from outer space so i don't think um, that will will happen soon so and let's see what we what we have here uh, more email um, combination uh, uh, conversation okay We have here a creature flux o -matic made out of iron. Okay. How does that work? Do we have anything in here? Parking lot D, call me. Um, story traits. Um, this one. First encountered. So looks like we we have to do a bit of uh, of research there. Uh, oh, we can activate it. What does that do? Do we have any errands? Yeah. Lindsay is on it. Apparently it takes a while. Okay.
no configuration So we still have not gained more more insights here. So as this is related to to uh, to creatures. Um, I was thinking that maybe we have to bring some some creatures in here. Um, and maybe we have a dedicated uh, building for that. Not that I can see of, but maybe let's let's just try with with a creature drop off. And then we shall see. Uh, let's take the coal. How are we doing here with uh, with the pipage? Yep, that takes a while. So. I think uh, we will finish the pipes and the uh, creature drop off and then see uh, what we what we can glean from that. We have got the uh, water pipe sorted out, but I think it takes a while until this water reaches the plants. Here we have 25 degrees, uh, but here in this pipe the water is still still warmer uh, it cools down a bit to here then here some more and here we have the cooling system but until basically all the warm water is consumed out of the pipe it will take a while so the creature drop off is also um uh, set up and I have uh, removed hatches from here and we can then add hatch down here and let's grab this one uh, wrangle it and see uh, what that does down here with this machine I would expect that uh, if the creature accidentally wanders in here, something might happen. Uh, that's probably not something that uh, that we really have uh, that much control over. And here comes the hatch, and um, now let's just. Ooh, yeah. Something is going on there. Get out on the other side. And we have a new species scanned. So let's let's have a review. Hatches. Okay, not really sure what what that means, but let's see what else we can put in here. We have a, a pip there. So let's grab that one and see what we can get out of this. And we probably will go through quite a few of the of the creatures just to see what interesting uh, 
tidbits we can learn from it. Um, as of yet, I am not sure that uh, what we have learned so far is, is anything useful to us. Um, looking at the, at the report, it mentions some weird things that I have not encountered, um, but maybe that's just something more to explore. So I think we will continue with, with a few more creatures. Um, oh, we can also have draglets, the glossy ones, um, the poke shells. Um, and the smooth, smooth ones. Apparently we have five scan species uh, that we need and we have four and uh, what I found out uh, doing different variants of the same species like uh, a hatchet and smooth hatch uh, does not add anything uh, to the data. So if we review what we have here we have hatches we have Dracos. Uh, we do have pips and poke shells. And that's it. So we do have some options. We could get uh, some uh, some slicksters. Um, we could get some um, some uh, shine nymphs. There, I think that would require different capturing methods so uh, let's creature drop off so let's have that one and then we have some of those in here and we probably need this trap for the flying um, creatures. Uh, we will we will do that and see how that goes and uh, what happens if we uh, get the fifth creature analyzed in a machine um, what happens next and we got the shine nymph here in our trap and that one should be uh, transported down uh, to here and hopefully that should give us the last, um, the last <coughs> uh, creature uh, analysis. However, with flying creatures, of course, it can take a while until they uh, pass find into the machine, but hopefully, eventually, they will do. And I, I'm thinking uh, it, it has to go into into that corner there um, for the machine to trap it and and suck it in. There she goes. Analysis in progress. There's still four of five. So. Maybe the shine nymph 
was not uh, a creature that we, we could have uh, investigated there. We still do not have any additional uh, insights here. Oh, uh, maybe we should disable this one. Don't need it anymore. But that basically means we have to search out another creature. Ooh! It just took a while. Okay, shine box. Or did we have to have a grown up variant and we uh, took, uh, took a baby? That uh, could be the cause. All right, and then this one. A ceramic morb. What we do with it? We have a new log entry. Okay. Uh, but is this now anything useful? There is probably more that that we can we can research. But basically, uh, I think all this does is uh, uh, analyzes uh, the the creatures and uh, gives a bit uh, more uh, details on on their traits uh, in kind of uh, mambo jumbo uh, fashion. Um, but it does not really allow us to transform one creature. Uh, into a different uh, kind of the of the same creature like uh, hatch to smooth hatch and so on all right I think uh, this first uh, <coughs> challenge or trait investigation we have successfully completed and we will continue over the next few episodes we do have to be careful about uh, food. Maybe we get something out of here. Um, only pip X. Well, what we can do is we can actually uh, get a bit of meat from those. And that should help as well and we also have to be careful uh, about our salt supply because that one tends to go down and if we run out of salt we run out of oxygen so a lot of things to keep an eye on hope you enjoyed it and join me next time goodbye